to my channel and today um, I'm going to be doing an unboxing, try on, wear, not wear test, um, review of the brand Alaya, Alaya Skin, Alaya Skin, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but they um, ship me over um, some goodies to try out for you guys. So if you all are interested in that, please be sure to go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the fam jam here on my channel. And without further ado, we're going to get started y'all. So they sent me over um, the Alaya, it's an Australian based company they are cruelty free and this is the moisturizer they sent over and then they sent over the pomegranate exfoliating facial scrub so that's those two and then they sent over the pink perfect australian pink clay mask it detoxifies and brightens that's a box. And then when you open it up, um, here's what it looks like. The packaging is just really cute. I love I love the color scheme, the aesthetic and everything is just really nice. So when you open it up, it does smell pretty good. There's what the inside looks like. Um, looks like it's gonna be a very like moussey like texture. And then they also sent over this cute little pink um, washcloth. <laughs> I think that's adorable. So those are the products they sent me. And real quick, I just want to say thank you to Alaya skin I'm still butchering that name for sending these products over to me I'm super thrilled to be reviewing these for you and yeah I'm going to um, pull my hair back I'm gonna go ahead and use the exfoliator because you're supposed to ex exfoliate before you use the face mask and then put on the uh, moisturizer after you use the face mask so I'm going to go ahead and quickly go exfoliate my face with the um, exfoliator. Come back and I will put on the mask with you guys. Okay guys, so I did just get done using the exfoliator and it is really nice. The exfoliant in it is just a little bit rough. I would have liked to it to have been just a little bit finer for my face. I felt like... It was just a little bit fun, a little bit rough for me, but it does feel nice. I just went really gently and didn't try to like scrub too hard. So my face does feel really cleansed and ready for a face mask. So I'm just going to be using this um, ColourPop foundation brush. Um, I had seen where some people use these flat foundation brushes to apply sheet masks, not sheet masks, to apply masks. And it looked... Um, it looked like it worked really good and then you aren't having to like uh, dip your finger into the product so here's what the sheet mask looks like applied it did apply very nicely and easily and I did not have to use like very much at all um, a little bit goes a long way so I am um, glad about that so i'm gonna let this sit on my face for 10 minutes and then i'll wash it off and i will kind of let you guys know my thoughts on the mask okay guys i am back and um i let the mask sit on my face for probably more than 10 minutes probably more like 15 i started picking up in my room and yeah then i was like oh man i need to wash this off so anyways guys this is what my face looks like one time after using the mask um, it feels just like very clean, very smooth. Um, uh, my face does feel really pretty dry after using that, so I am glad that they sent along the moisturizer. So we're just going to go ahead and apply that. Smells really good. So yeah guys, um, I will check back in 
and you will see me in a week from now. So guys, I want to just like let you know that this is like what up close it looks like whenever the mask has dried. It's like really white and it like starts to like flake off. I don't know. It's so weird. But yeah, the mask turns white. It's no longer pink after it's dried. But this is like the fourth time I'm using this for you guys and I just want to give you a quick little like update as to how it feels. It feels really tight on your skin, very dry, and I'm getting ready to take it all off. Okay guys, so it has officially been pretty much two weeks since I received the Laya skincare bundle. So I've been reviewing this product, not reviewing it, but I've been testing these products out for two weeks now. I've been doing the mask every other day, um, which I felt like was pretty good. I didn't want to do it every day because you have to use the exfoliator scrub and then do the mask in order for the mask to really clean your pores out and stuff. And I didn't want to exfoliate every day because that's not a good thing to do on your skin because it will then cause your skin to get rough. So I did this um, scrubbing um, face mask and using the treatment um, every other day and I am going to be inserting pictures here. I took a picture every time after I used the mask and um, the first few days I really didn't see a difference but after using the mask for about a week I could tell that um, the few blemishes I did have had went down quite a bit. My uh, redness in my skin has maybe uh, fainted a little bit. I can't say it's a drastic amount, but overall I do feel like it has kept my blimp like any new blemishes like at bay from like not coming up. So I do feel like the product does work um, if you are committed to using it. Um, I do want to say a quick tip if you are interested in purchasing this mask that I had tried using the mask just with your skin being dry and applying it dry and I do apply it with this ColourPop foundation brush. I find that these flat foundation brushes work great with applying um, clay masks or any type of mask that's in a tub like this. So. I did learn using this mask that you barely get your face kind of damp and then apply the mask. It makes the mask spread out more evenly and not be as thick on the skin. Really works a whole lot better than just going on with it um, on dry skin. So um, overall that is how much of the product that I ended up using. The container was not like completely brimful by no means when I first got this product it was like three quarters of the way full so I don't really feel like after using this product for two weeks straight that I went through like an overly drastic amount on the product so overall guys I am gonna go ahead and say I would recommend purchasing the Alalia skincare bundle it's a good product it smells great it works great um, I know at the beginning of the video I did happen to say that the exfoliant is kind of rough which I would say it's like a medium it's not super super rough and it's not super soft for your face maybe I just have a sensitive face but overall I did enjoy using all these products and the little pink towel that comes with it was is really cute it's really soft it works great for taking the mask off and I think it's just a cute little bonus whenever you get the the skincare bundle so guys I really hope you enjoyed this review demo the whole yard of the Laya skincare bundle I hope you enjoyed this video and please y'all don't forget that you are absolutely stunning Bye guys, thanks for watching. Hey guys, so if you haven't subscribed already, then click the circular icon in the middle. Or if you want to watch another great video, then click the one on the left or the one on the right.